One of the things that you uh, say in kind of a doctor checklist that I really, you know, this is your hiring <laughs> checklist. I thought this was great. Number hey. one, how does the doctor address you? You know, if sure. you're like called honey or deer, forget it. Disgusting, uh, right? Yes. And they don't look at you. There's noses in the electronic medical record. They don't make eye contact. If they don't make eye contact, why would you even bother talking to them? Right. I mean, uh, you yeah, don't talk so, to people in the street that don't make eye contact. <laughs> right. Why would you? Yeah, and then you've got, you know, the eye contact. And then does the doctor let you talk, and does she actually listen? Right. You know, because that's so important. And does the doctor ask you questions about you and your family, your job? Crucial. Crucial. Yeah. Because you know what? If the doctor doesn't know you and your situation, they cannot properly, correctly identify how to make things better for you. Right. Absolutely. And then you have both physicians and patients have been indoctrinated that our personal lives are relevant only to the therapist. So not true. Oh, it's insane. You it's know, crazy. I tell, the story, I tell the story that when I took the examining table out of my office and I just left like nice, comfortable chairs there, like armchairs that my patients sit in when we sit and talk. They, people started, doctors started asking me if I was becoming a shrink. And I said, no, I'm just becoming a better doctor because I want to know more about my patients. I want my patients to be comfortable. I want patients to want to come to my office and love it there. And you know what? They love coming there. And I love seeing them. And I think that's the only way you can be a good doctor. And unless you have a doctor who feels about you the same way, you shouldn't be with them.